Guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. When we last left off, we attempted to make ourselves a trip to the mega store. We found ourselves a car and all that jazz. And I just hit my microphone and I apologize for that. So I've been thinking about what I wanted to do because that's what my life is now, is thinking about what to do in a roguelike. And hopefully you guys can see my cursor. You should be able to. Uh, originally I wanted to head north up into the woods here but thinking about it there's two possibilities these this road either just cuts through these woods and there's something more up here or this is all just woods and there's gonna be like a radio tower or some bullshit here or a lab or something not usable for me currently south is just gonna follow the river and the swamp which is bad and I don't want to do that um, west you know I have to go through the forest here and I'd rather not so what I want to do, actually, is I'm going to head through the southern part of town here. Um, again, hopefully my cursor will be visible here. But I'm going to make a stop at this house, because that had that basement with all the stuff in it. And we're going to go this way in our car and see what lies beyond, because we know at least that this part of town is somewhat safer. This part's all fucky, but maybe we'll find something here I don't know but um, that's going to involve me picking up all my stuff and dumping it in the car and all of that fun inventory management that you've all come to know and expect from me so let's oh no a dog anything but a dog so th there's a fly buzzing around me I don't know if that's going to pick up on the mic but it's certainly annoying me so we'll grab our duffel bag, and I don't know if my civilian buddy is actually going to come along. That would be kind of sweet. Um, we're just going to grab everything, as much as we can carry. Well, not as much as we can carry, because we're going to carry all of it. That's, that's all there is to it. My body is straining under the weight. It, I really shouldn't be. caring so much, but too bad. We're just going to dump everything, absolutely everything. Oh no, we'll keep, keep our flashlight, keep our lighter. Uh, we have our hatchet, we have our bullets, we already have our gun, so the rest of it can go. Sorry if I have to keep blowing on the mic or something, this fly is not going away, and I'm not going to swat it on recording. So instead you get to listen to me repeatedly press the keys to move all of this stuff, because there's so much of it. Luckily it should all fit. I'm hoping my NPC buddy will actually tag along with us. Because if nothing else, I could always use a bullet sponge. Take all of our drugs. Take all of our food. Take that. Okay, so it was only like two trips. It's just taking a lot longer to, you know, go through this shit individually. SKS might actually be super useful um, in the future. I'll just do this. It's quick. that in there. Is there anything else? Oh, well, let's grab my funnels, obviously. Take down the funnel. Hopefully we can get a, a jerry can or something. Anything here? We'll take the 2x4s and the wood for when we make a wood stove. Um, there's Keisha Child. Let's uh, let's ask her one last time if she wants to come with me. She's not. Well, fine. That's, uh... Do you have anything to trade? I could give her my 2x4s for $80. And what can I get in return? Um, I should... 
oddly enough. Um, I'm gonna smash all this stuff and grab the 2x4s and trade with her. Silly as that seems, it seems like the NPCs want um, 2x4s and they're easy enough to get. So we can get some items out of her at least, why not? Let's trade items here. I, well, okay, I don't have a... Maybe she doesn't want like all of the 2x4s, but... Um, I can get a soldering iron, I can get a file, I can get computer world. Did that actually increase like my barter ability? Because that would be kind of sweet. A little bit, like a tiny bit. And there, I have computer world now, which, you know, useful. I don't know what you do with a file, but now you can disassemble it for paper or whatever. Um, and the soldering iron, I already have one, but who cares? It's a free soldering iron. Can I trade with Karen here? Um, I could, but what do you want? A, do you want a two by four? Got delicious two by four. And give me all your stuff. Cool. Bye. So there, I got a laptop dehydrated fruit and some lye powder and yeah I can take apart that laptop and get a whole bunch of stuff um, which is fine by me so I'm actually tired in game not in real life so what I'm gonna do is dump all of this again actually we'll hold on to the fruit because I'm probably going to be thirsty when I wake up. We're not going to eat the lie. Uh, let me grab water. Somewhere near there should be water. Water, 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 water. Some delicious fat. Okay, so I'll grab this water. I'm going to take off my duffel bag because that's just going to be an encumbrance. Uh, where is my... I take it off? Oh, wait, what? Well, I don't want to put it off. Well, hmm. Alright, hold on. Let me... I don't know how to play this game. What am I doing? Right? Alright, there. Why are my items tumbling to the ground? Yeah, fine. Oh, because it takes up some... I'm dumb. Okay. I can't cram the duffel bag into my various <laughs> pockets and whatnot because that's just not simply how it works. So we drop that. Take off the... No, don't throw it. Take it off. No, just hold it. Like, okay. There. All right. That was way more difficult than it needed to be. Holy shit. Now, wield the hatchet. Okay, so somehow I'm surviving the apocalypse despite not grasping the basic ability of how to pick up items or manage them or basic survival skills such as drinking clean water and all that. Um, I'm actually going to sleep in the car because uh, I believe a car is considered a pleasant place to sleep. Yeah. It's too bright to sleep, apparently. Aren't I wearing sunglasses? Like, aren't, aren't I wearing sunglasses? Yeah, I'm wearing sunglasses. Um, well, whatever. I guess we're just going to drive then. We're not going to sleep. We're going to get tired and drive, which is a, uh, a terrible idea, by the way. Never, never drive when tired. Um, I know a couple people that have put their cars in a ditch because they've driven when they're tired. So don't do that. So electric cars are apparently very quiet too, which is nice. So we're gonna drive down this way. Our 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 buddy is coming with us, our NPC friend, which is great. And we're gonna very carefully negotiate through the 
this traffic. Because we wanted to head down to this basement here. There's something smoky coming after us. I'm assuming that's a smoker zombie of some type. Which is kind of annoying. Because I can't see it. We'll let that thing get stuck on a heavy duty frame. Because I just want to go in this damn basement. That's all. Turn on our flashlight really quick. And I didn't bring my duffel bag, so I'm not going to be able to currently carry anything. Super. Um, water. Yeah, we definitely want the chemistry set and the royal jelly. Well, crap. I'm going to have to go back up and get, get the stupid duffel bag. Royal jelly is fantastic because it's kind of a cure-all for everything. A chemistry set is just good to have because, ouch, cut my hand on the glass because I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, there's that damn smoker zombie. Um, oh, I kind of want to just fucking... And we inhale a lung full of smoke. Great. God, I'm like the Benny Hill of... Like the Benny Hill theme of survivalists right now. Not even Benny Hill, just... I love how my only option is to shoot the friendly NPC and not the stupid smoker zombie. Is there anything I can do to fucking kill this guy? If I had a grenade, I would just fucking murder it. This is really annoying. Good, he seems distracted by the NPC. Um, that is a whole bunch of useless. Give me my damn duffel bag so we can just get our shit. My flashlight's still on, I realize that now, but it's too late. The game seems to be bogging down a little bit. I don't think it's because my computer can't handle it, just the nature of the engine. You know, fuck it, we're here, let's just grab the fucking fire extinguishers. The way my luck has been going this video, I have a feeling I'm going to need it. And of course everything is too heavy. And I guess we'll just drop the fire because no, well, we got four of them and they're pretty fucking heavy, so. Take the eye. You know, we'll just fucking grab everything. Why the hell not? We'll grab one fire extinguisher because. You know. Gotta be safe, right? Hockey mask. Useless children's book. Is there any clothing in here that we want? We'll take the flashlight just to disassemble it. It's quite useful in that regard. Um. Laser can refit it. It's not really that good though. If I can take it, I'll just take it because we'll fuck around with it later. One last raid for supplies because I'm a goddamn hoarder. I have an issue. Take this front. Oh wait, wasn't there teapots? Well, there's goddamn smoke. Not that much. Always can use long strings. Uh, glass shards can't really do anything with. I mean, as silly as it seems, long strings are super useful. Alright, now we're gonna dump. Dump our shit. <laughs> dump. Nope, oh, keep the lighter. And we'll keep our food. Um, and the rest of it will go. Bam. Oh, hey. The dorm door is closed, but can I shoot it through the... Yeah, I'll step into the thin smoke. Um, let's just hatch it. This bastard. Uh, it hits our head. We're coughing because... We're inhaling a bunch of smoke. 
Please just die. I think it's almost dead. It's heavily injured. Alright, fuck it. Shoot it. Just die. There, I think it... Okay, yeah, it exploded. Whatever. It's dead. Finally, the smoke will go away. No. Now, yeah, we need to, like... Let's just chill for a minute. Catch our breath. We're coughing. That's okay. Let's just... Let's just chill for a minute. Let's actually wait. 300 heartbeats. We're still coughing. It sucks, I know. Um, the smoker's on me to not drop anything. Unfortunately, whatever. It's dead. Let's close up our doors here. And we can finally proceed to head this way. There's a lot of NPCs chilling out here, which, you know, not really a bad thing, I suppose. We're gonna off-road it for a minute. Hopefully I'll stop coughing up all this garbage. There's a bunch of rocks here, but I'm not gonna stop to collect rocks. If we find a a new home, hopefully. Now, as much as I would love to run over these zombies, I can't risk damaging my car. If my car gets fucked, we might as well just stop. I'm sorry, bumped my mic again. We might as well just stop the run if I lose my car at this point. So we can head south, but again, it's towards forests. Um, but it's oh, we're going off road. It seems. Oh shit. Let's keep heading uh, east. And slow the fuck down. Do not crash into that vehicle. There's fungaloids somewhere, and a moose is wrecking some zombies somewhere, which is awesome. Moose, you don't want to fuck with. You really don't want to fuck with moose. So, crap, this is leading into forest, isn't it? I really don't want to go into forest. Let's just... And there's spores there, too. So let's just... Fucking... Turn the hell out. Let's just go off-road for a bit. I know I'm sitting here talking about how precious my car is and... Not wanting to go with things. And then we just take our electric car and say, fuck it. Hey, there's a shelter. Ow. We just plow right into that shrub. Whatever. Is this home 2.0, perhaps? You really can't go wrong with having another shelter. So. Oh, wait, I don't want to let go. I want to stop driving. I don't want to just stop. And I don't. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Excuse me, car. There, okay, phew. So it's battery, it only has 2% uh, battery, which is kind of crappy. It does have a swappable storage battery though, so I wonder if that means, can I like, okay. Apparently, you know what? Let's not, because I don't know if I'll be able to put it back on, and that was a convenient way for me to go. Oh, hey, let's stop doing that. And it looks like there's a town right here. Um, that's nice. It's it's actually a little closer than what we've had. Let me reload my gun. Wield my hatchet. So I guess intuition paid off. I could have gone south, but. You know, whatever. It, it, it worked out fine, hopefully. If this town is not completely fucked, we'll have ourselves a new place to stay. And the first thing I'm going to do, actually, is... Um, I'm going to 
get my blanket and my pillow. And we're going to sleep. Because I'm assuming somewhere in here is my damn... There's my... There's my pillow. Where's my blanket? Somewhere in here there's a downfilled blanket. There it is. I'm going to grab that shit. I'm going to sleep. And we're going to close the windows off. It's going to get nice and dark. We're going to get comfy. So drop blanket, drop our pillow, and good night. Now, mind you, we're probably going to wake up in the morning or the night or something and not have any idea what time it is, but... Did I not gain any new stats? No, I did not gain any new stats based off skills. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, we're very hungry, we're very thirsty, we are completely healed up, which is ideal. Um, my flashlight is dead because I'm an idiot and left it on. Now I can't see anything. That's the car. All right. So, this next part is just going to be me doing what I did at the beginning of the video. I'm going to unload all my stuff, try to sort it into general piles. I'll just do it off screen though because that's easier. I'll make sure to eat and drink because I'm good like that. And when I come back and after the jump here, um, I guess we'll be settled in again and we'll just go from there. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. And we're back. And as you can see, I've sorted out some of my items into piles here. Um, for the most part, I'll probably forget what they are most immediately, but tools are to the left of me, weapons, ammo, and mods are surrounding it, and this is all of the miscellaneous junk, you know, rags and patches and strings and 2x4s. I disassembled the counters here. Books are in front of the terminal. This is my bedding. This is my clothing pile. This is f drugs and first aid, and this is food. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to check my crafting here to see um, what I could make, see if there was any better stuff for me than uh, what I have now. And what I see right away is a shoulder strap, which would allow me to use my uh, rifle, my 1022. So I'm going to make that with rags. And so now we have a shoulder strap, which is excellent. And I want to look through the rest of the categories here. I have no use for any of this other stuff for now. Molotov cocktail might be useful, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, other usually has good stuff. Water skin would be quite useful to have, actually. Um, and it does have a carrying strap, so I believe I can strap it to my body. So let's make that, and we'll make that out of a... Uh, long string because long strings are easy to get so there now we have a small water skin excellent uh, let's see cured pelt would be kind of useful I suppose improvised lock pick is always nice as well um, so we'll make one of those because you never know when we need to pick a lock And sorry about that, I had a piece of crap office chair and occasionally it fucks up and I gotta fix it. So that's what that was. So now I have a water skin. No, I don't want to wield, I want to wear the shoulder strap and I want to wear the water skin. And we'll go here and what is an SKSU? 76239. Do we have any 76239? No, we've got 76251. So let's grab our 1022 and let's strap the 1022 to us. Well, actually, we should probably. Uh... No, wait. Oh, we attach the shoulder strap to the. Oh, okay, so it's. Alright. It's like an attachment. So reload that. And that holds 10 rounds. And I believe, oh, and I'm just going to keep hitting the mic. This is like not my best video today, it seems. I'm just out of it. Can 
Can we wear it? Yes, we can. We're still really encumbered, but that's okay. As for the water skin... So we've got a holster with the... Um, with a pistol and the rifle. That's fine. Oh, can we make a wearable flashlight? Um, noise canceling headgear might be kind of nice. Um, well, I could just look it up. Yes, okay, well, let's make a wearable flashlight as well. But we don't waste it. Oh, we failed to make it, but. Uh, let's use long string. There, now we have a wearable flashlight. So we'll put that on. And we will reload it. Put our batteries in. So now we don't need to carry that around. It just frees up even more space. And in addition, let's fill our water skin. Now, I remember they had those in the game last time I played. My issue with it was that um, I couldn't drink from the water skin while it was attached to me. I'm kind of really hoping that um, they've changed that. That would make me really happy. So we'll just unload that. There we go. Um, and I believe all of my containers, yeah, I've left all my containers uh, here. We'll just wheel our hatchet. So we're doing all right. I mean, our, our issue that we're going to run into eventually is, um, is weight, of all things. We'll need to get some strength, and that'll let us carry even more. And I'm actually going to grab my sewing kit. And a long string, or I'll grab this small string. And I'm going to make thread. Because you can disassemble the small string. And it will give you thread. Disassemble the string, there, get the thread. Reload this. And I'm going to fix up my shit. I always... oh wait, well... oh, that's fair enough. Uh, that means we need a soldering iron. Uh, I know I have a soldering... I better... yeah, I was gonna say, I better have a soldering iron, because I took one apart. I'd feel like an idiot if... I need gunsmithing tools. I have gunsmithing tools. Okay, maybe it's a different thing than what I'm thinking. There, well, we made our flashlight extra sturdy. Can I... Okay, so... I need a higher mechanic skill to really get the most out of it. That's, that's understandable. Uh, so we'll put that stuff away. And we'll wield our hatchet. It's daytime, so we can actually go exploring a little bit if we want to. First thing I'm going to do, though, is need to grab our funnels and set them out. Because you can never have enough water. So grab these three liter jars. These can hold half a liter. Set five liters. And we'll just grab another plastic bottle. So, we will set up... Can I activate a funnel? Yes. Whoops. So we have that, and now we can drop... our bottles... So now we'll have water collecting for us while we are doing stuff. And even though we are wet and it makes us sad, whatever, I'm going to go explore these houses down here and hope that um, the whole town is not fucked. But 
could very well be fucked. I guess we're gonna find out. I still need to find a watch of some type. Um, just even a bit, little wristwatch would be nice. A diver watch, something. And here is a car that seems to have stuff in it. There's a shocker zombie, which is something we need to engage at range. There's a flashlight. There's a lighter. Can't really go wrong with either of those things. A jumper cable. I'm gonna grab those, just cause you never know. And here comes the shocker zombie. Uh, can I, okay. Um, so the range on the 1022 is not great. And we get shocked. I don't think it actually hit us, thank God. It reflects off his thick hide, so we need to fucking... We gotta run, because shocker zombies aren't anything to fuck with. Ooh, corpses. Hopefully these guys will actually have something on them. And I don't even know if that shocker zombie is still pursuing me. Hunting knife, eh? Excellent. So that will be very good for butchering. We'll take the glow stick as well. There's a fedora. That's great. I'm gonna ignore the obvious jokes there, although I know for a fact you can activate it and tip your fedora because this game is awesome like that. Uh, really not a lot. A leather backpack might actually be better than a duffel because it won't take up a million. Ooh, plastic canteen. I'll take that. Might be better than our improvised. Ooh, a roll mat. Also very good to have, because I didn't actually have uh, a roll mat before. And not a whole bunch else. But still nice to have. Um, let's put on that and take off the, the water skin. And we'll fill it up. Well, actually, which way is... That weighs one pound, and it has okay protection and stuff. That's fine. How much does the canteen weigh? The canteen weighs... Oh, that has water in it now, too, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's really a huge difference between it. I mean, the water skin actually has a lot less volume. It's weird, like, you wouldn't think, but... I don't know. Let's put on the leather backpack and take off the duffel. So now we're significantly less encumbered, which is good. We can't carry as much, but that's, that's okay. And let's take out our, our um, steak knife and put in our hunting knife. Now we have an even better Kniffy. I'm hoping like the shocker zombie doesn't bust in here and ruin everything. The main issue is uh can we activate our roll mat? Yes, so there we have a roll mat now. So we have a slightly better place in which to sleep. Um I will drop off the steak knife in our weapon pile. And we'll put the duffel bag, water skin there. We'll hold on to the pork sticks, those can be useful. Put the glow stick. We'll, we'll put the flashlight. We'll unload the flashlight and then put it in there. Battery goes in here. We'll wear our Ruger 1022 like that. And can the backpack be refitted? Doesn't seem like it. That's okay. We could probably fix it up though. I always want to keep my gear in tip top condition. No, that's the Ruger. I don't have enough leather to do that, apparently. 
So, never mind. We'll come back to it. I don't know what to do about that shocker zombie. At least my tailoring is almost level 3, which should hopefully unlock new things. Butcher up these bodies. Because I believe. Ooh, well, sinew is good. That can be used for things. As disturbing as the rest of it is, sinew can be used for various crafting projects. Did they sky drop any sinew? No, we did not. Probably butcher his clothing if I really wanted to. Oh, let's see if we can... Okay, good. We can drink right from when it's strapped on us. That is a good improvement. I am very happy to hear that. That it is possible now. That shocker zombie is still there, unfortunately. Why can't I move? There we go. These shocker zombies are nice though because they also have potential for CBMs inside of them. If you can kill them. Let's try out our lockpick. And it worked. Sneak into the house here. And we'll just grab this food. A small plastic bottle with lemon lemon something. Lemon syrup? Lemonade drink mix. Cool. Okay. We've got some pickled herring, peaches. They had lye powder. Maybe they're like Scandinavian or something. They eat uh, all that good stuff. A wetsuit hood. Winter gloves would be good, but I don't, we don't need to worry about warmth for now. Famous last words. Take the MP3 player. An e sig here, which cool. Um, I'll take the batteries out of it. Um, we don't need chewing tobacco. I try not to use drugs in these games, not because I have anything against drugs, just you know, nothing good there. If I could get some, I wish I could get some. Cargo pants or army pants or something. I'm missing a room here. I feel like I'm missing a room. Oh, here's something. Some kind of wump. So something's in the house with me. Oh, here's a whole bunch of stuff. Glad I decided to come back and check. Um, razor blade. Don't really need a shaving kit. Don't really need a plastic bottle. Talking doll, I'll take. Those are kind of useless. Razor blades, no. Steel chain. Sheet of glass. That's really heavy. Uh, we'll take the cheap wine. Uh, marble could be useful. Gallon jug could be useful. Steel chain we won't need. They got a lot of random junk here. We'll take all of that. I already checked that. Okay. So that house is done. No real big signs of. We are just fucking our lockpick. And it's destroyed. So, whatever. Free string. Also, I forget that I have a flashlight. Cell phone, we'll take it because it has a clock. Yes, please, finally. Oh, we don't need scissors. Gallon jug of ammonia could be useful. I will always take food. Milk has gone rotten. Meat sandwiches. TV dinner. And there's finally a zombie here. I do 
don't know what he's going to smash, but we'll let him smash away. Oh, well, a bloated zombie exploded. Okay. There's a can of corn up there for some reason. Um, I didn't inhale toxic gas. I'm badly poisoned now. That's not good. Fuck off, bloated zombie. Alright, well, hopefully we can wail on this zombie and kill him before we, you know, die. We're slowed down because we're so sick from everything. That kind of sucks. Can we just wait it out? Even better, can we, uh... We head downstairs and wait it out. Oh god, this is... Alright. Um, let's go back up. Why did that put me there? That's weird. Some kind of glitch. It happens. And there's a crawling zombie here. Grab this beer. And we'll finish it. We'll kill this thing. I don't think crawling zombies are much of a threat. There's a, just a plain old clock, but it stopped. And take the orange soda. Bottle of gin, pretty sweet. Anything good in here? Uh, doesn't look like there's much of use. All right, so that house is pretty much done. We're not going in that basement. Just no, plain and simple. I have better things to do with my time. What is this? Is this an ambulance? Fire engine. And it's got firefighter stuff in it, which is great for protection and all that, but not really needed. So there's more houses down here. We're going to check them out. And there's a zombie necromancer here. Crap. Um, let's try to shoot it. So let's pull out our... Oh, crap. Well, we're kind of over-encumbered here. It's going to wail on us, but I think we can... I think we'll be able to kill it. It is hitting us, but ha, we win. And it had a shopping bag. Lovely. I'm just going to butcher it. Because it's a necromancer, you can never be too sure with necromancers. What do we got? They love their cigarettes and beer, apparently. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. Fast noodles. Nanchos. Okay, so there's some good food here. Should probably grab it. Check out the rest of the house really quick, though. Always use drugs. Salt water. Salt water is good for making jerky. That's mostly what I used it for. So we'll run back to the house. We'll deposit our stuff. We'll run away from this zombie. What I need are books, honestly. Close the door. There. Yeah, so we'll drop off all of this food. A lot of it is probably going to go bad, but, you know, what can you do? Take the gallon jug there. Is this my drug pile? No, this is my drug pile. Drop that off. The talking doll and the e-sig can go in there, and I'll fuck with it later. This is my ammo pile, and that's where the marble will go. MP3 player can go in there as well. And the sinew and strings can go in there. My damn flashlight is still on. What I need to do, actually, I need to take aspirin with me. And... I don't have... I was gonna say, if I had like a stimulant, like a caffeine pill, those are nice to have uh, in a pinch if I had to run from something. 
There's a mo lot of houses here, which are good. Houses tend to have pretty good variant of loot. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about my gear for now. I'm not particularly hungry or thirsty, so we're going to make... I'm going to do one more raid on a house and then probably call the video. Let's see what we can get. That shocker zombie is still there and still chasing us because he's a bitch. We're going to murder this zombie to see what he had. He had a hammer. And take a hammer because it's better than our stone hammer. Got to do something about that shocker zombie because that's going to suck. We'll try out this house, which is unlocked. We'll take a beauty magazine, because you never know. Let's turn our flashlight back on. There is a decayed zombie and a regular zombie. Should not be much of an issue. Hopefully. So, okay, yeah, that one just got destroyed. So it seems like regular zombies, for the most part, are not a big deal. Aluminum foil. Kitchen is mostly empty. There's another zombie in here. And there's a basement. Uh, a box of flour. You can do a lot with flour. For some reason, they had a electric polisher and a fire hat in there. Oh, well, crap. Well, we're down here. Let's grab a jar of horseradish. Sure. Um, can we, let's just get the hell out of there. There's a feral hunter somewhere, which is not really something we want to mess with. Bandages are excellent for obvious reasons, for repairing wounds and such. There's some cocaine, I guess, if we need a stimulant. There you go. Um, let's do another house, because we're, you know, we're right here. Something's wailing on this house. It's probably this fat zombie. But fat zombies don't explode, do they? Uh, we'll grab these cotton balls. Wait, what is that? A grappler zombie. Well, we're just going to keep hitting it. It hits our torso. We're not in pain, though. We're smashing the crap out of it, though. That's good. We're, we're doing some decent damage. Screwdriver set. We already have one, unfortunately. So, take the sewing kit for the thread. Take the peaches. Take the food. We'll always take food. Tailor's kit. And... Oh, awesome. It has uh, a small heating element for melting and joining plastic. So it looks like it's it allows us to work with plastic as well. That's pretty sweet. We'll take that. Uh, more food. Always grab food. Always don't need any of the other stuff here. Banana. Fresh food is good. Hopefully we can find a dehydrator and dehydrate it. Black pepper is good. Wheat cereals. Cigarettes we don't need. Wristwatch. Take the wristwatch. Put that on. Because, yes. Now we have it. We don't need to carry around a cell phone. I take that apart. Another MP3 player. Um, self-esteem for dummies could be useful thread don't need leather sandals need solder take all of it don't need any of that stuff aspirin always good to have doesn't take up any space well that was a pretty good haul that tailoring kit sounds like it could be pretty sweet there's a fat zombie in here Let's wail on it. Ow, it hits our torso. Ow, it's it's hitting us. But now it's dead. Did not really have anything of use. So 
this house is pretty much explored. Let's head back to base. I'm curious, does that tailor's kit... It takes charges... Okay, it takes charges of thread. Alright, that's fine. What is this? 22, oh, that was me. Fine by me. So we'll head back to base. Hopefully that tailoring, that tailor's kit will be quite useful, and hopefully it'll work better than uh, just plain old sewing kit. So where is my shitty sewing kit? Take that. We'll unload all of it. And then we'll just reload this. 400 there. So this is kind of my trash pile. We'll just put the tailor's kit in there. Let's try this thing out. Oh, we can modify our stuff. That's cool. And we can't do anything with the uh, the wristwatch, unfortunately. Can we do anything with the leather backpack? We can line it with wool. We don't have enough leather to do that. Okay, well, what about the canteen? I don't know why we'd want to... Uh, line it with wool, but... Okay, so we can't do anything. We need a soldering kit for that. That's fine. Not a big deal. But that's cool that we can modify gear like that. That's that's pretty sweet. This is food. This is drugs. So the keys, that'll go in there. That'll go there. We'll keep the cocaine as much as I dread having to use... Oh, you know what? Actually, caffeinated chewing gum. And we'll put all that in there. Let's eat our tin can of dumplings. And we will eat our water. And we'll take some aspirin because apparently we're hurting books off. Gotta love item inventory management as opposed to non-item inventory management. I don't know what the hell I was trying to go for there, but um, scrap metal processor board. Foil RAM can all go there. And we'll drop off the solder and that and the thread. The MP3 player, the hammer. And the tailoring kit. Wield that. Drop the 22 casings. And essentially that will be this video for now. Uh, we got some more good supplies. And eventually I'm going to keep raiding houses. I think that'll be the next video as well. We'll keep gathering what we can. And hopefully... Uh, We'll get some more stuff. I need books. I need skill points to provide better gear for me. Um, better clothing would be nice as well. Uh, we're close to tailoring too. I might actually off-screen repairing um, some of the clothing and stuff that I've picked up, just so uh, just to get that skill to three. See what that unlocks for me. So when I get back in the next video. All have passed a little bit of time. As you can see, it's 11.44 on day 5. And we'll see what it brings us. Um, could be good things, could be terrible things, but that's just cataclysm for you in a nutshell. So, oh, you know what? I never checked the basement of this place. Let's, uh... Okay, it's empty. Alright. There. So, right. I'll end the video here, guys. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. So, later, guys.